Okay, um, Scotty, we chose the topic, the man on the moon, and what interested you to pick this topic? It just seemed like an interesting topic because it was the first time that the United States ever, um, you know, just landed on the moon. Alright, Scotty, I have a few questions here. Uh, what happened when we launched the, the first human to the moon, for the United States, of course, who was involved, and when did this event happen? Alright, well, um, broadly, you know, the event, July 20th, 1969, um, you know, people involved, Neil Armstrong, probably the most famous person from this, uh, you know, extravagant journey, Edwin Eldrin, the Michael Collins, and of J course, yes, of course, JFK, JFK who could also, forget, also involved, and, and what was the event, the event was just, JFK wanted to land humans on the moon, and the Apollo missions landed two people on the moon, so we accomplished much, okay, Scotty, three more for you, why did this, why did we want this to happen? How is it relevant to future United States and present day United States? And of course, why is it important? And one more for you, Scotty, because I know you can handle it. How did this change society? All right, well, let's just start with the you know, ground. Change society, I mean, leaders often look to the Apollo program for inspiration. The achievement will always be here. Inspiring young folks like yeah, us, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> it's relevant because it's the first time we ever landed somebody on the moon. Obviously, the Russians beat us to that, but it's... it's and it really just kicked off future technology, yeah. so, if you think about it. Yeah, it really blasted off, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, what were we saying? Why is it relevant? I mean, it's the first time we ever landed a, a man on the moon. Why, why is it not relevant? Exactly. Right. Hey, Scotty. Back again. You are going to be telling us how it changed the economy, but first... Let's review. How did this change the society again? Honestly, it just, it was inspiration to the whole world. Anything can be done, and leaders looked to the Apollo program for inspiration for other programs. Exactly, that's how we create the Everything. technology that we have today. What are you watching this on right now, students? A smart board. Who? Who? NASA. Who made that? NASA. Okay, maybe not directly. Not directly, but, landing but on the I, moon eventually I bet you. led into technology technological advances exactly in exactly right. okay nice. so that's how it changed society right yeah okay so how did it change the economy well honestly if you think about it it's just a whole new aspect to the economy because back then we didn't have any spaceships space shuttles drones etc etc but now nasa made it's just a whole new you know budget to the economy here's a fun fact for you NASA's budget was reduced to about the same percentage of the national budget as today. And that's a ton of money just spent on just, you know, sending the space shuttle exactly. to the moon. Exactly. And what is what is the United States known for now? Having the best technology in the world. Yes. You know? And this mission could have sparked that fire and now it's uncontainable. You know? United States, we have it all here, guys. So Scotty, last question for the day. Uh, what is the United States' current policy regarding, you know, just NASA? Do they even have a NASA program anymore? Uh, yes, they do have a NASA program. It is alive and well. Um, rec but, but, recently. But recently, they have uh, tried to colonize people on Mars. Just a fun fact for you. Yes, they have. Um, and also, if you haven't known, they actually, the shuttle that they took to the moon was actually retired and yes. they brought it to what museum? Uh, the NASA. <laughs> the Space and Blank Museum. That is all, guys. We'll see you later. Hey, guys. This is Ben here, and we just, wanted, we just wanted to do a little shout-out here. Uh, this presentation was not by us, really. The hard work and dedication really goes to... These two young, great ladies here, um, Bronte and Samantha. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, all we did was read off a screen. So really, they actually specialized, specially asked me to ask you guys, the viewers, if you would like to just look at them real quick, just give them a quick thank you. Quick thanks. <laughs> we wouldn't mind a thanks either, alright? We wouldn't mind a thanks. No, we would not. So, thanks again, guys. Signing off. Thanks for, thanks for your time. Samantha, Francais, and of course, Scotty and Ben.